Hey everybody, I want to show you a few things um, in Revit. So how to create a, a curtain wall or a storefront wall with the glass door in it and then how to embed that wall into an existing kind of brick wall. So to do that, I want to go to models and then new. And for, for what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to, I don't want to use the Imperial multi, multi, multi discipline. I want to go to browse. I'm going to click on my commercial default template. I'm going to click on open. Make sure I'm going to create a new project, not a template. I'm going to click OK. And the first thing what I want to do is I am going to double click on my south elevation. And I'm going to kind of zoom in on my levels here. So I want to double click on roof. And I'm going to change this to ceiling, SLG. Or you can spell ceiling out kind of lazy so I'm just going to type in CLG period it says would you want to rename the corresponding views I'm going to put no and then for here I'm going to double click slowly on this 12 foot 8 dimension or I just single clicked really anyway and then I'm going to change this to 12 feet or just type in 12 and then all the other stuff I can leave that as it is so then what I want to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to double click on my level 1 so that I can go to my floor plan view. I'm gonna go up to wall. I'm gonna create a brand new wall. So I want to go to my properties here. I'm gonna go all the way up to where you see exterior brick on metal stud. I'm just using this as, a, as an example. So I'm gonna click over here on the right side for my wall and, and drag it over to the left. And I find when you do that, it kind of lines up your walls to where the outside is the outside and the inside is the inside. I'll show you what I mean. So whenever I finish clicking my wall here, and right click hit cancel, hit modify again. So hit modify a couple of times. So when I click on my wall, when I click on my wall, you see the double kind of arrows are to the outside of your wall. That's what you want. So if you were to click, if you were to start drawing your wall from left to right, then your wall would end up like that and you have to click it to flip it over so it's it's just easier to draw it from right to left then what I want to do is I am going to change my level of detail to fine I mean because that's what I am anyway I'm just kidding I'm really not but I'm gonna change my visual style to maybe shaded so you can kind of see that our brick is on the outside here okay so now what I want to do is I am going to create a a curtain wall or a storefront storefront wall from scratch so I'm gonna go up to wall architectural and look at my properties browser I'm gonna go all the way down to where you see curtain wall here where did it go curtain wall curtain wall um yeah so I'm gonna click on curtain wall and I am going to again drag from right to left so I'm going to click over here and kind of drag it over. So I think what I want to do is have three panels of four on each side with six feet in the middle. So I'm trying to do some math. 24, 30? I don't know. Is that 30? We'll just say that's 30. 30 feet. If not, we can always edit it. Hit escape a couple of times. So then I find it easier to now, if I look at a 3D view, so what I want to do is, let me move this wall out of the way of that other one. So I'm going to click on this wall. I don't want it to be up to 14 feet. So the height is unconnected. I want this to be 9 feet for this example. So I'm going to change that to 9. And that's going to shrink my height of my wall down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some a curtain grid on it. So up here I'm going to click curtain grid. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So I'm gonna put four feet or four foot sections. And all I did is kind of drag it along the top edge here. So I'm gonna get four feet. I'm gonna do four feet again. Another four feet. 
This one actually wants this to be six feet. I hope I did my math correctly. So that one's six feet. That's where my door is going to go. And then four feet. Hopefully that's four feet, four feet. Yeah. So then what I want to do is I'm going to kind of go up the side edge here and I want to make that six feet, eight inches from the bottom is going to be the height of my door. Six feet eight right there. And I'm going to right click it, cancel. Usually I just hit the escape key a couple of times to get out of a command. That's just easier for me. So now what I want to do is I have my glass kind of broken up into the sections that I want. So I'm going to go up to where you see the mullion, curtain wall mullion. I'm going to click that button and I'm going to click on all grid lines because I want to place a, a mullion everywhere I have a, it kind of sectioned off. And I'm going to click my glass panel here. And so it's going to put a mullion around all those sections that we did. Nice and easy. So let me shade this. I'm going to go up to my, uh, what is that button there? That's the, uh, what is that button? I should, oh, the visual style. So I have it on hidden lines right now. Let me do a consistent color. So now you can see that my glass is kind of a light blue color here. So if I had to skip a couple of times, what I want to do is I'm going to zoom in on this kind of panel above my door and I'm going to try to kind of place my mouse over kind of one of this edges here. And I'm going to hit tab, the tab key, I press the tab key on my keyboard until that little panel there lights up. And then once it lights up, I'm going to left click it to select it. So what I want to do is up in the properties browser where it says system panel glazed, I'm going to change this to a solid down here. So now you can see that that's no longer um, transparent glass. It's kind of an opaque. So if we wanted to add the name of our building there, or if we wanted to add our street address above the door, you could do that there. But I just wanted to show you that you can change some of these panels from, from transparent to opaque if you wanted to. All right, so now right below this in this kind of big area here, is that's where I'm going to put my, my glass doors. So to do that, again, I'm going to just kind of hover my mouse over an edge here. Sometimes it, it's, it's kind of a pain, but, and then I'm going to hit the tab key. And hopefully when you see that big panel light up, that whole section panel, I'm going to left click it to select it. And then just like we did for the the part above the door, I'm going to look, but this time I'm going to look for the, where you see storefront double door. I'm going to click that and it puts our double door in nice and neat for us. And then what I want to do is I'm going to try to select this kind of mullion at the bottom. I'm going to left click to select it because I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to press delete on my keyboard because when we come in the door, we, we can't open the door if that mullion's there, right? No, we trip over it trying to get in and out. So I deleted it and the door automatically kind of now it shifted all the way down to the bottom. So that is our kind of our completed storefront kind of panel here. So to get this into the wall, let me go back to my floor plan view. So what I can do is if I just try to move this over, let me do that. Let me demonstrate that. If I try to move this over into this, this section here, you're going to get this kind of error. And we can fix that error, but there's an easier way. Let me undo this. So if I just click on this kind of panel here and go up to where you see curtain wall, I'm going to go to edit type. And I'm going to make sure that where you see automatically embed, I'm going to check this box here and then hit apply. Hit OK. So now I can select this whole kind of wall panel. And if I drag it, you want to make sure though that you drag it into the gray area, not the brick, because that's going to go into the wall right there and let go. And now it automatically kind of cuts that opening for you. And the cool thing about it is if I look at a 3D view, I still have the brick above it. So it kind of embedded that wall in just like it would a regular door or a window. Also another thing I want to show you that I think is pretty cool. Um, if I, let me go back to my floor plan view. Or not, yeah, my floor plan view. So 
if I go up to inserts and I'm going to go up to where you see load from library, I'm going to click on load Autodesk family. So you can look, if you're looking for doors or windows, if you're looking for furniture, so you can find beds, seating, tables, storage. There's all kind of furniture in here that you can kind of use in your projects. I would recommend going here first before you try to go to like Revit C because that is so laggy. Anyway, you may not find exactly kind of what you want here, but um, I would start here. There's some beds. You can also find some um, entourage, which is people. You can pick females, males. There's a van, a semi truck. There's a Volkswagen. I would recommend doing your entourage, saving and putting those in at the end because those are, they kind of lag you out if you, if you kind of do those um, kind of at the beginning. And also there's also some planting. So you can add some trees here, kind of see things you like. And just kind of, you know, search through here. These are kind of where all the, all the good stuff is located if you want to kind of look for stuff. I'm, what's under the site? Ooh, there's a concrete truck, there's some bollards, there's some direction arrows, there's a dumpster, fire hydrant. So there's all kind of things. Was a paper, oh, I thought that was a paper clip. <laughs> I was like, ooh, there's a paper clip. I don't know why you want a paper clip in there, but hey, no, that's not a paper clip. That's a parking island. So yeah, just kind of browse through here. If you see anything you like, bring them on in. All right, so hope that helps. All right, so. I will see y'all in the next video. I'm not sure exactly what that's going to be, but it's going to be something to do with our fancying up our floor plan. So hope to see you back. All right. Peace out.